I've saved your nominations for the final chapter in this booklet about conservative Judaism because I think in the first instance we should be thinking and talking about Judaism and then only afterwards reflect back on how conservative Judaism is the lens, the lens through which we see, the particular slant we take on Judaism, the path that we walk that's different from others. And let's be frank, we're doing this at a time when many people are careful, quick, to argue that there are, are no more denominations. They're done for. They're passé. It's over with. There's no future to reform, orthodox, conservative. Let's just all be Jews. And let me tell you my feeling on this, and I'm curious to learn yours as you study this chapter. My feeling on this is complex. On the one hand, I agree the default position now should be partnership and cooperation. We just don't have the resources to go around. Our buildings are empty much of the time. We don't have the numbers to sustain independent efforts in everything we do. Cooperation should be the rule rather than the exception. But precisely because I care so much about Jewish tradition and the Jewish people, there are some non-negotiables that I won't give up when it comes to Jewish living, when it comes to Jewish learning. If people tell me that women can't have a voice, I have to say, I'm sorry. I need women's voices in the study and practice of Torah. If people tell me that Israel has no place, that Hebrew is irrelevant, I've got to say, I'm sorry, but those things are integral to the kind of Jew that I've been raised to be, that I want my kids to be. So there are ways in which we should be cooperating more with one another, crossing denominational lines. But this, I think, is not a moment for entirely eliminating denominations. And I hope that your discussion will be an occasion to think about what's really valuable in conservative Judaism. What would you hold on to at any price? And what would you be willing, as it were, to negotiate away in favor of added cooperation with other groups? That, I think, is the question of the moment. It's not a theoretical question. It's a very practical question because all of us know that our institutions and organizations need to partner a lot more than we've done until now. So this is the moment to think about what really matters and why. And I look forward to hearing the result of your discussion.